All right, I guess I'm going to have to cut out when I said uh, this is wrapped up and everything. I put everything back into the case, and number three started blinking weird um, after I put it in the case. And I just was taking it apart and trying to figure out what was going on. So you see, I got the test card in, and it's blinking fine. It look, everything looks normal. And then when I put this on there, watch what happens to number three. That's weird. And this is, I checked, this is, I'm not even touching anything. If I just put it where it's not even touching anything on the bottom, just around it, just slightly above it. I don't know if this metal, if there's something to do with that LED, that's a, uh, it's got to be the LED. I'm thinking I need to replace that LED. Um, but that's my best guess. Or, those are resistors right there. That can't. I don't. I doubt that would be it. If there's anything. Makes no sense. But that's probably why I was getting normal results from at least two of the lines. Now that I look back at it, um, I'd have to look at the schematic and stuff like that and watch the video. But two of the lines seemed like they were fine, or even all three, four, but only line one was messed up. I can't remember. But that's that's weird. Line three is doing that. Or um, LED three. So, all right, let me see what I can figure out. All right, you can see that I replaced the light because it's glowing, uh, or the LED. I'm sorry, uh, it's a uh, brighter. This is the one that I had um, of a similar size is a little bit brighter. But if I put this on, it impacts that the blinking of that light. I am totally lost. Like even if it's not touching anything. Like, it's almost like the metal of this. Maybe if I coat this or something. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to check. Maybe check the resistors to that LED and stuff. And the, the, their capacitors as well. I guess. Is there a capacitor for each LED? Yeah, there, there's a capacitor for each LED. I think that one's for that one. And these four are for one, two, three, and four. So... Let me check if there's any uh, difference there. All right, so I didn't film all this work because it would have been boring and, and everything, but um, this was a major pain in the butt. What I did was I desoldered this capacitor here, which I think is like C3 if I'm not mistaken, or it's a C4 and CR3, which is the diode. I, I swapped in a, um, a different capacitor. Behavior was the same, so I put the original capacitor back in. I measured it. It looked fine. I mean, the capacitance is a little bit, you know, off, but not much. I mean, you expect these being um, 35 years old or more, almost 40 probably um, years old, that they'll they would uh, lose their electrolytes, I guess, electrolytics, electrolytic. I don't know. Anyway, the Zener diode didn't solve it either. Every time I put this shield back on it this number three light would start blinking faster than the others <clears throat> and I knew it had to be in this range and it had to be a part associated with the the third LED so I went ahead and just cut out the um, LS the LO2 74 LO2 no it was just a 7402 that was here put in a 74 LSO2 and now the problem's gone away so I will just show it real quick I don't know why that was, um, you know, all the, when I put, um, it was hard to put a, um, shoot, a logic probe on it, um, with this cover on, obviously, because it's covering up the chip, so I couldn't really see what was going on or what was changing when the cover was on, so we'll power it up. Yeah, and I also, I tried to put in the original LED back in. These LEDs, the legs are super thick. It was hard as heck to get it actually out of the hole. I actually ended up screwing up one of the um, traces there, or one of the through holes actually, on this LED. So I just put the, you know, my replacement LED in there, which is a little bit brighter. But you can see that it is blinking normally. And unless this thing fails me... Oh, now I have a different one going. 
<laughs> now this one over here is blinking weird. That is so weird. What the heck? That one's not even a part of this. Circuit. Now all of these are blinking fine and this one's um, acting weird. I'm wondering if because I've introduced some LS chips, if this is, I don't know why would that be. Because I introduced an LS chip um, in this circuit with these four LEDs, and I did probably introduce an LS386 with these LEDs, I'm wondering if that's throwing off. Now that, I don't know why the timing of a 7402 should be the same as a, the gate delay on a 7402 is the same as is 10 nanoseconds, same as a LS. What the hell? That's new. I thought I fixed it. That's so weird. But I might, I don't know what I'm doing. I might have to replace the 7402 that's on that line with um, LED 16, 15, 14, and 13. Shit. All right, real, real quick. Um, I just put some electrical tape on the back of this metal plate. I don't, it has to be some type of interference or something happening with these, um, these, I don't know what you call them. Um, shit, I'm gonna have to, I, don't, I forget what, I don't know what to call those things, but when I put it on, it impacts that light. I don't, I don't understand it. It's so weird. It's got to be something from picking up something from in here for some reason. And maybe it's just because of my power supply. I mean, I don't know. Would this be normal if I was testing it on a board? I don't know. It's so weird. All right. Okay, so because replacing that LSO2, I mean the 7402 with an LSO2 fixed the issue with that... Uh, with the other LED, I figured I would just go ahead and do the same thing because the LS387 that I replaced, I think this was chip number five and this is chip number six. Um, I replaced it. This is the other LS, um, let's see, L86 that I replaced with a LS386. And and this is the in the same circuit, so I was just like, let me go ahead and just replace this 7402 with an LS02. Um, the timing shouldn't have been different. I don't know why. You know, this is kind of causing problems, but it definitely seems like that was the fix. So let me go ahead and plug it in. And honestly, I was tempted. I bought enough LS chips to replace all of them. Because I was tempted just to replace all the chips with them. Um, because some of them have, I think the L's that come with this have 30, 30 nanosecond uh, gate times. And the LS have 10 nanoseconds. And it's also lower power. But I also have my LED that's a little bit brighter now. The one I replaced. Put it on. And we still look good. So that is just weird. I don't know what this metal shield is doing. Um, you know, is it creating, I don't know, I'm not an electronics expert, but maybe somebody can comment of why putting this shield on there combined with the LS387, I mean, LS386 replacement screwed up something, um, and I need to actually replace the L, uh, 74L02 with an LS02. Doesn't make sense, but there you have it. It's actually, it looks like it's working fine now. Maybe I should actually put my test unit on with that as well, just to make sure. It kind of bothers me that I had to repl I replace one of these LEDs and I didn't really have to and I kind of botched it and I can't put the old LED back in. But um, now it's just brighter, whatever. I'll live with it.
or, or whoever I sell it to <laughs> will live with it, I guess, but I'll disclose that. All right, that's it for this video. This one should be quicker. And um, actually, no, I'm not going to finish up. I'm going to assemble everything back up and then test it again. All right, <clears throat> got everything hooked back up uh, correctly. And let's give it a go. Plug it in. Hopefully it still works. You can see that um, there's a little bit of glare there, but... Yeah, that one LED is definitely a lot brighter than the others, but they do seem to be blinking correctly, uh, which is good news. So I, I would say that this is fully fixed. I don't know if I'm going to leave the LEDs like that or not. I still need to fix, um, do something with this cable that um, kind of broke apart and uh, dissolved. But anyway, that's it for this video. Talk to you next time, I guess. I'll hopefully start using some of these on something and building some cards and stuff like that next. All right. Cheers. Bye.